Texturman is back. Today I'm gonna show you how to render this Ferrari F40 in the Keyshot and I'm going to mention if you want to download this 3D model or 3D scene you can visit my Patreon page, link is in the description and you can basically download all the files from all my tutorials. Alright boys, let's start working on this render. So first step is to create our camera view. We need to go here to this camera tab. We need to create the new camera, so add the new camera. And we are going to find something similar from the reference image. So maybe like this. I'm going to change this uh, value to a little bit bigger. So we got more orthographic view. And I'm going to make the distance a little bit bigger. So something to like this. And I'm going to use these sliders to achieve similar look and something to like this. This is all right. I'm going to turn on these quarters grid so I will be able to see where is my car in the frame. So I'm going to make it a little bit like this. This is all right. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to save my camera and I'm going to log my camera. So if I click to this free camera and I start rotating this car, I don't need to set up my camera twice. I just simply click on this and I'm back in business. So this is pretty handy. Now we need to create our car materials. So we are going to use the basic key shot materials. And we are going to use all the materials from this tab right here. So before that, I'm going to create these uh, ground plane. So I'm going to find the ground plane and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And this is actually our ground plane material. And I'm not going to change anything. This is all right. We are going to use the stock settings. So now let's create some materials. We can use the Axalta paint, which are really in high quality. And also these paint materials are pretty good. So I'm going to find something interesting like this. And I'm just going to drag and drop this material. Double click on this material. And I'm going to change just a couple, couple colors. So we are going to change this color to make it a little bit more bright. Something to like this. And we are going to change also this color. And this will be something to like, something to like this. All right. And maybe... Um, we are going to use a little bit like this. All right, this is good. And we can start working on these tires. So plastic, and I'm going to scroll this down and I'm going to choose this tire material. I'm going to change just a couple values right here. I'm going to make it more rough. And I'm going to make sure this is completely black. Now we are going to find the material for our rims. So I'm going to use something like this. And I'm just going to drag and drop this material to this part and this part and select the yes. We want to merge, merge these materials. And I'm going to zoom it a little bit more to this rim. All right. This is good. I'm going to double click on this uh, material and you can see we combine them together. So I'm just going to use completely black and I'm going to use something like this. So they will be more shiny and a little bit more metallic like this. This is all right. All right. I'm going to click on this and this and also this. All right, this is good. And I'm going to drag and drop this material right here. 
paint shiny double click on this and make sure it's completely black all right i'm going to see how it looks okay we are going to uh, change this glass material as well so we are going to select the glass we are going to find glass basic white material just drag and drop double click on this material we are going to change it a little bit more kind of bluish tint so something to like this this is all right and maybe something to like this and this something like all right this is actually good i'm going to stick with these settings and you can see it's a little bit bluish this glass it's got just a little bit tint of blue color we are going to change the material on these bolts and we are going to find the metal chrome and we are going to use the basic chrome basic polish double click on this and make it just a little bit rough and we can change this logo as well so i'm going to find into my paint material these shiny materials and i'm going to select this black horse and just drag and drop these materials so all right i want to combine these and i'm going to use this as yellow white red and green material as well and now this is the logo we can use also the metallic or shiny doesn't really matter this logo is small so that's all right we are going to change our mirrors and we are going to use metal and we are going to use the chrome polish it for this part and select no and this is all right and we can actually use this color which is right here for this part as well so just link these two materials together and we are going to use the chrome for these exhaust and we can start working on these uh, on these uh, tail lights and we are going to find glass we are going to open this folder we are going for textured glass and we are going just drag and drop this glass right here and we need to change a few settings so first setting is the bump map so double click on this light go to the material graph press c on the keyboard so we can see what's going on and we are going to use this value right here and bump height something to like this close and you can see it looks like the real uh it looks like the real tail lights or a little bit more realistic than before so we need to change all of these parts so i'm going to just click on this and this and link these two materials now i'm going to click just on this right side click on unlink material so now i can edit it without adjusting these these uh these uh, tail lights right here we are going to find some kind of orange color so maybe something to like this i'm going to wait for the preview and i'm going to make it a little bit more like this okay actually like this a little bit more to this red this is all right i'm going to click on this and this link these two materials and unlink this one in the middle double click on this and we are just going to make this white
and now we need to change these parts right here so we are going to click on our mouse right button and hide selection we are going to use for these chrome polish it or we can use the chrome rough material so i'm going to use the polish it and i'm going to change this material to make it a little bit more rough something to like this or you know what a little bit more bigger roughness so something to like this and this is like the bulb and we are going to use solid glass and solid glass will be in the white color which is the basic white right click on the mouse and show all part all right that's really good we are going to select this mesh right here and i'm going to find something like metal polish black metal polish it black drag and drop this part and double click on this we are going to change it a little bit this is all right and we are going to unlink, unlink these uh these small reflectors and we need to change the bump on this so i'm going to make it like this this is all right and i'm gonna use i'm just going to use the simple black material for this bottom so i'm going to click on click on this bottom part and i'm just going to drag and drop this one and make it a rough and we need to also combine these two materials together or link them together so now this is in the car paint as well and now we are going to change interior materials but this will be really simple because this interior is not in the high quality so we are just going to use basic material so hide part and we are going to use the material with name Bolteron. this material is not available in the key shot you need to download this material right here in the cloud library and the name of this material is Bolteron. so you just simply find the material and you are just download whatever you need so i already download my material and i'm going to find this material and just drag and drop this material to the interior double click on this this is actually the full name which you can find in the cloud library and i'm just going to change the scale of the bump height uh, sorry of the bump to 50 and we are going to change this to make it a little bit less bumpy i would say right click and the show all parts as well i'm going to my camera i'm going to click to the camera number one and i'm just going to wait for the preview all right boys we just finished the part number one they're also going to be part number two in the part number two we are going to create custom lightning and some final adjustments to achieve even more realistic results so if you got any question you can always ask me down in the comment section if you need something to know you can always give me some suggestions or questions and stay tuned there is going to be a lot more new content a lot more a lot more new tutorials and if you're going to support me on my patreon there is also going to be a lot more new 3d models and 3d scenes as well so have a nice day and have a nice render bye <laughs>